All right, so I started laying out colors that I'm going to use within my oil pastel landscape. So you can see that, you can't see it in the, in the video, but I'm referencing this picture that I have here for color, right? So I have my, my different greens and my yellow. That would be in the foreground because your foreground um, is very vibrant and intense in color, right? And then the further it gets, the cooler it gets. And this, in this picture, it really gets cool right into the middle ground and the, the background. So for the middle ground, this one little area here, I have this blue that I'm going to use maybe to make it a little bit darker. I'll use a little bit of black, all right? And then in the way background, I have some purples that you're seeing um, and even some white through like the haze in the mountains or fog. And then I also have colors for my sky, which include um, some pinks and oranges, maybe white to lighten it. So what I would do is start by laying down your, your color, which this video is going to go over. And then I'm going to start going over um, adding textures and details in another video for you. But this is what you should do first. All right, so um, I'm just going to move some colors that I'm not going to use because I'm going to start with my foreground. Um, and you can actually go back and forth. I would just, you know, make a point to know like where you're splitting things up. And the first thing that you want to do too is go back into your picture and wherever you have like pencil lines, I would just kind of like, if they're really dark, lighten them up a little bit. Okay. Cause you don't want them showing through. And you'll notice when I do this, I'm really not going to color in the plants yet. I'm just going to do the big, the backgrounds first. Um, but I think in the foreground, I'm seeing some yellow. So I'm going to go in and add some yellow. Okay. Now for the purpose of this video, I may not actually, I'll try to do the whole thing. Um, I may not do the sky. I might just do these these three parts of the landscape because I don't want to this video to to go too long. But you can see I'm lightly adding in some yellow, and I might go in and add some green because the the color I'm trying to get is this this greenish yellow color, and then I'll start adding in those darker greens after. But notice I'm not really doing the trees yet. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna color those in as like separate objects. Okay. And I'm actually, for mine, for the background right now, I'm just trying to color, color it in one solid color, okay? Um, and then I'm gonna use a paper towel to go in and kind of smudge that area. Okay. So now I'm gonna go in with a paper towel I'm going to rip a little piece off here. And I'm going to do some blending here. I just want to get colors down. Hmm, paper towels. Not working the best, but that's okay. And then I might go back in and do it again a few times. go back in with the, these greens again and I might eventually keep some of the texture but right now I'm just trying to get colors down okay so my next video I'll start going over how I add detail to it okay. Okay. my paper towel again It's like really blending in. You want to go all the way to the edge. Try not to leave white space. And 
then I probably just continue to fill in that space and trying to get like a color similar to this for now. And then eventually I'll start going in and start adding in some of these other greens and some textures in here. But I'm just getting like solid colors down for each part of my picture. So now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm not gonna do the sky in the video, I'm just gonna do the land. I'm gonna start adding in some blue here. So again, I'm just trying to get that, that color down. And I might actually just do this part right now, but you would be filling in like your whole entire picture. I just don't want this video being too long. I would use a clean paper towel, right, or tissue, and go in. Now, I don't really like the way that looks because I don't like that you can see that texture. So I'm gonna go back in and do one more coat of this. And I might actually, I feel like I might make it a little, I'm not, and you can see in my picture, it has like these little buildings, right? I'm not adding them yet. I will, well, maybe I'll just add a few here and there, but I can add those later. Again, I'm just getting like these solid colors down here. Okay. I might actually add a little bit of black, especially at the top a little bit. Make it a little bit darker. So again, I'm just trying to get like the the base basic coat of color down first before I start adding details. Okay, so that would be that layer, right? I'm gonna go back in and kind of clean it up a little bit as I work on it, um, and add in like my little buildings and whatever. So the next layer has some purple in it. So now I'm gonna go in with purple and maybe a little bit of white at the bottom. Um, now remember, when you're doing atmospheric perspective, things get a lot lighter the further back they are. So I'm gonna use like really, really light pressure and really try not to make this too dark as I work on it. And as I work on it, let me see, I'm gonna get a new paper towel. You can do like a circular motion. Sorry if my camera's shaking a little bit. Okay. And there is some blue too. So I'm gonna add a little bit of blue into here. And there is blue in the bait in the bottom of this mountain too. Um, I feel like it almost goes from like a really light blue into a purple. And then, you know, what I do here, I might do the sim similar technique in the sky, but use oranges and pinks and things like that. Okay, and I'm gonna take my paper towel and go in. Circular motion works. Okay. 
I'm gonna keep going in, blending in colors. I'm gonna do this first. Okay. And my purples, pull them down and through so those blues and purples blend nicely. Right, I'm kind of going over that one building I made because I can redo it later. I could work on top of it. Um, all right, and then I'm going to add a little bit of white. So when you're using white, make sure you clean it off before you use it because there might be other colors on it as well. Okay, and then there is a little bit of white on the bottom here. I'm going over my little building. I don't know if I'll have to blend this, but create that like hazy, foggy space. Okay, and. Um, and then, you know, I would continue to, to work on all this. So right now, you can see I haven't really added any detail. I haven't added any of the little buildings yet. I haven't added any texture that's occurring in the green area. I'm just making sure that my colors really work together um, for each level or area. So your foreground, middle ground, background. background. And then I would start to do the sky. Um, once I finished that, I would go back in and start adding details um, within my space and probably start working on the trees. I'm going to try and make a few other videos showing my progress, um, so I hope that helps. Um, but for now, this is where you should be with your oil pastel. All right.